I thought that I'd finished with making videos about things from my past, but obviously not. Much like going for a walk down the street and smelling somebody's perfume and it reminding you of an old girlfriend. Memories do have a habit of lingering and cropping up when you least expect them. And it's no different in finding this lying around here in my dad's workshop, which is where I am at the moment, in a quiet moment. For those of you who are avid watchers, for which I thank you, you'll know that I found a box of old arrows, uh, arrows that I had to make as part of my apprenticeship here in this very room. Uh, they were arrows from different parts of the world and different cultures that, as I say, I had to make as part of my apprenticeship. And of course it wasn't just arrows, um, I had to make bows as well, and as you can probably tell, uh, this is a bow. But it's neither English nor is it a longbow, although it is quite long, but well, you know what I mean. This is in fact a bow based on the Nidam finds. I'm going to tentative, tentatively use the word Don't say it! Viking. Viking, Viking, Viking. Viking. Oh no, no, not Viking! But I know I'll get shot down in flames in the uh, comment section because I did do a video about the Nidam arrow that was a part of my apprenticeship. Um, I'll put a link to that in the box below. You will not just be shot down in flames in the comments, but literally a volley of flaming arrows will rain down upon you and your family until only your bones are left. I will then use them to replace these stupid horns, which are not Viking. Where I uh, did call it a Viking arrow, but uh, just approximately Viking arrow, much in the same way as we refer to medieval arrows as being medieval, when really they're sort of Tudor, or that's what we're basing them on as far as fines and what have you goes. Tis truth he spake. People say medieval, but Tudor are they. And who are you? I am Tudor man. Is that a superhero? No. I represent a period in history. Unlike the fantasy you art. It's not my fault I have horns. Why are you so small? I, I have breeches on that do not conform to the um, YouTube decency rules. I actually rather like your horns. Mm, I like yours too. What? It's not too dissimilar to the uh, longbow as we know it. Um, it's fairly short in comparison and was used in a fairly short draw, more to the chest rather than to the face, and was used with a pinch grip, hence the type of arrows that I showed in the other video. Um, so it's, it's very different certainly to the war bow as far as the English longbows are concerned. It's got a few unusual features on it. Um, we've left the handle bare, just marked it here with these linen linen binds top and bottom. Uh, this is of elm, if my memory serves. I would have made this around 1996, and in fact it hasn't been braced up since then. Um, I did put it on the tiller, I think I took some footage of that, you're probably seeing that right now. And considering how long it is since it's been tillered, that doesn't look too bad. It would probably need some uh, reworking if we were going to do anything with it. Some of the more unusual features that are on it, uh, you probably can't help but notice there is a spike on here. A rather nasty spike. Uh, this is a, a hand-forged hand um, spike that Hector Cole made for us. Um, it's a side-knocked bow, as you can probably see. It's just simply cut into the bow and then we've bound underneath it and glued that binding on there as well. And probably the most unusual feature is this sort of string-keeping peg in the bottom here. So when the bow is unbraced, the, uh, the, 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 the bowyer's knot would actually sit against that and the string, the top loop, would still remain in this side knocked area. So the, the string sort of remains taut against the bow so that it's not flapping around, which means you, you could then use the bow as a weapon with this spike. You could use it like a, a spear or a pike, if you like, that sort of thing. So that's, that's why that's on there. Anyway, there we are. I thought you'd like to have a quick look at that and a bit uh, of a trip down memory lane for me. As I say, I think I made this around 96, 95, 96, something like that. Uh, yeah, about 25 years ago, which now means I feel terribly old and I'm going to have a sit down and put my slippers on. Thanks for watching.
if you insist on watching the video about the arrows, which are not Viking, that it's over there. If you want to subscribe, then you can click my stomach. And if you want to see Tudor Man's impressive codpiece, then click like. I'm not sure I want to show my britches.